<laughs> but here's the thing. Tart did it again. They're kind of racking them up now. I got a little upset when one of their employees was putting down a whole country of beautiful people. I'm not going to put voice to the to the racial slurs of a country on Instagram, but that was their first strike. Their second strike was the um, release of makeup foundations for two or three folks. Their latest palette does not work for summer blondes because it is too ashy. It appears ashy on all three skin tones. Never seen that before. So no one that I know, irregardless of whether they are Caucasian, whether they are from an Asian background, whether they are from a Latino background, and of course we know that the dark people like me, this palette was not for us. Up front, look at the palette. It was designed for Becky, but Becky who? Becky where? This is the summertime. Becky got a tan. Becky got some self tanner if she doesn't have a tan. Susie too. You know, who is putting white out on their face in the summertime and able to wear this? Good morning, YouTube family. Good morning. I know it's morning somewhere, whether it's late, late night, which makes it morning, or it's the middle of the day. The sun is shining, we are happy and free, and you have free time to watch this video. So welcome new subscribers, welcome back to everybody who watches my video and comments on the regular. Thank you very much, I appreciate you. And I am back with a chit chat about Tarte. Tarte just released a eyeshadow palette with a face palette. Something they do a lot of and it's something that we all like to pick up from them in the summertime. We pick up their all-inclusive palettes and you can go wherever you're gonna go. You don't have to think about it. Get it all done. <laughs> but here's the thing. Tarte did it again. When Tarte released foundations that were only for light-skinned people. We all got in an uproar because it was, a, it was a product that we were all using, they knew we were all using, and they knew we all wanted to purchase it on the release, and they just completely decided that they would discriminate according to the shade of a person and only allow certain people to be able to get the item upon release. That was their choice in foundations and we had a fit. We had a fit in spite of the fact that foundations are notorious for releasing their initial release only to light skinned people. It was just a product that we were all embedded in. We all had an emotional value in it. And Tarte then quickly released the darker and lighter colors so that everybody could try the foundation. Of course, by then, um, Half the people, the people who couldn't get in the first place were really salty. And the people who were medium in the middle, they were like, I'm feeling some kind of way about this. I want all my friends to be able to enjoy what I enjoy when I enjoy it. Because that's the hype and we enjoy the hype in makeup. So Tarte apologized. We all moved on. But a lot of us were like, eh, Tarte's canceled. I was not one of those people. I've always liked Tarte as a brand, but they're kind of racking them up now. I got a little upset when one of their employees was putting down a whole country of beautiful people. I'm not going to put voice to the, to the racial slurs of a country that an employee from Tarte did on Instagram, but that was their first strike. Their second strike was the um, release of makeup foundations for two or three folks instead of at least, you know, dark, me light, medium, and dark folks. But their latest palette does not work for summer blondes. 
in Southern California here, the summer blondes that are going to the beach cannot wear the new Tarte palette because it is too ashy. Uh, it doesn't work for beach babes who are going on vacation to the south of France, south of Spain, or South Beach in Florida because it is too light and they look ashy. Um, the new palette that Tarte has released, the all-in-one palette that Tarte has released is too light for Southern Caucasian girls. In the summertime, the sun is beaming down on Southern Caucasian girls and even with sunscreen. There is no sunscreen in the world that is capable of outdoing the southern sun on a day-to-day -day basis. Here in Southern California, uh, our sun's not that much. If you come on vacation, you might not get that much darker unless you're going to the beach all the time. But we all carry a little bit darker color than we would if we were in another place because you can walk outside every day, take a stroll and that kind of stuff. So no one that I know, irregardless of whether they are Caucasian, whether they are from an Asian background, whether they are from a Latino background, and of course we know that dark people like me, this palette was not for us. Up front, look at the palette. It was designed for Becky, but Becky who? Becky where? This is the summertime. Becky got a tan. Becky got some self tanner if she doesn't have a tan. Susie too. You know, who is putting white out on their face in the summertime and able to wear this palette? Because that's what you got to do. In order to wear this palette that they just released, you have to be going and buying those products that say whitening, whiter, you know, putting white on your face to make yourself look um, unnaturally light. And if that's what you're into, fine. This is your palette. You alone can wear this palette. So I would, if I were you, I would wait until it's 90% off and at Marshall's to buy it because no one else is competing with you for this palette. Okay? Summer releases and you release something that it's only for vampires. Tarte released the palette for vampires. Yeah, if you are not a vampire, if you only, if you ever come, if you only come out at night, you know, and you sleep during the day, you know, maybe you look a little sickly because you got that party lifestyle, you know, blue veins and all that. I know some people like that. Thousands of people are complaining in every color. Every color person is saying, what am I going to do with this? I just bought self tanner. Makeup newbies. Here's a little note just for you. You may not realize this palette is incomplete. You may not understand why you're not able to get an Instagram look from this Tarte palette. You might look at the colors and think, Tarte is a brand. You're supposed to get high quality from Tarte. You know, obviously these colors, if you use them appropriately, it's for light people and you're a light person. And why are you looking like a ghost after you put this palette together, the whole look? Why is that? Because that is the look of this palette. I'm not complaining about the look of the palette, but that's not a summer release. Even the name Aspen just says winter. That is a winter release, you know, dead of winter. You know all of us are looking just ghosty and therefore all of the stuff we bought in the summertime is no longer working for us. That's when you release something like this. You are insulting all of us with this in the summertime because you are positioning us to be unsuccessful with our makeup, you know? And I'm, I'm wondering, I know that, um, I think the Tarte company is from Japan. And I know that Kabuki and um, Geisha and all that, they do put white face on. So therefore, if you are putting on white face, not just a light skinned person, if you're putting on white face, these colors might be appropriate. I don't know. I don't know. I think that when I've gotten close to Geisha, they have on some very dark and dramatic makeup, but that's where this is. 
Now I'm getting to my question. Any of you guys look at this palette and think, oh, finally something that I can wear? Any of you are like, I would never self-tan. I am the lightest of the light of the light. Nothing works for me. And this palette has colors that I've been looking for. You know, is this, is this your jam? You know, is your bronzer the shade ivory? And you need a little peachy blush to throw on top of it. Is this for you? I'm not even going to swatch this, you know. That's my position. Now, I'm not going to embarrass myself by swatching this because I already know that I don't think I can add any value to people by swatching this. Maybe I might be in the store and I will change my mind and it'll look different in person. If it looks whiter in person than it looks online, I don't know what to tell you. Best comments. What a racist palette. Wah! Wah! This palette just told me to go back to my country. This palette is so white girl basic, it asked me for a non-fat, no whip frappuccino. As a white girl, no. Vanilla bean frappuccino with soy milk. Raisins for your potato salad. Anyway, that's the tea on the latest release from Tarte. Um, I, I'm not going to say Tarts cancel, but if they aren't going to make anything that I am interested in, I'm going to keep it moving because thankfully there are so many other brands and the other brands have complete palettes. If they come out with a all-in-one palette, it really is all-in-one, at least for somebody other than a vampire. You know, I understand sometimes I'm not included. You know, you might do a light palette, you might do a dark palette, but this is not a light palette, this is a ghost palette. It's different, you know. There, this person has very little blood in their skin, you know. I understand, you know, somebody, this this might be their jam, but for 99% of people in the world, light or dark, I mean... Maybe in Japan, most people are light-skinned, but I know in other Asian countries, most people are not this. Ah! That's all I can say about this. Anyway, thank you for watching this video to the very end. Jesus loves you, and I love you with all of the Jesus in me. Be blessed, beautiful. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and watch another one of my videos.